Hey you guys, I'm making this video to let you know um, I do have a signal group. So if you are interested in joining my signal group, um, let me know. I will leave the information in the description of the video at the bottom. So um, I guess if you're interested, just comment below and um, or join. Go ahead and join. Um, but let me jump into the video real quick and let you know how um, I'm taking these trades. Um, it's pretty simple. What I'm doing is I have my customized deviation um, indicators I'm using to let me know when to get ready to take a trade. So I'm showing you some examples on EURUSD and USD CHF just because those two pairs move in the opposite direction of one another. Love those two pairs. Okay. So um, what I'm doing is on the one minute I'm waiting until I get a three inside of a yellow box. Once I get a three inside of a yellow box, I will go to my 15 minute time frame. Okay. Once I get to my 15 minute time frame, I'm looking for, since this is going to be a buy, I'm looking for a green candle to close higher than the previous candles close. So I want it to close higher than a red candle, if that makes sense. So um, this is actually going to close, you know, higher than this close here. So I would take my trade somewhere in here. Somewhere in here I would take my trade for a buy. Um, and um, my expiry would be um, 1,700 hours. So this is showing 1,530. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the top of that hour um, for my uh, to get my expiry. Um, my trades would either be 2 hours or an hour and a half. Hour and 15, hour and 45. It all depends on what time I take my trade. So in this case, this is 15.30. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it for 15, top of the hour. And uh, my expiry will be 1700. So at 16.45, price needs to be above here, and it was. That would have been a winning trade. Um, let me show you another example. Um, like I said, I'm waiting for a three in a box. Here's one here. Got a three in the box. Go to my 15. And then I'm looking for a red candle to close lower. Over here. I'll take my trade somewhere in this candle for it close. Make sure it closes lower than the previous candles close. Um, this is 11.45, so I'm going to go ahead and extend it to the next uh, hour, which would be 12. So this expiry would be um, 13, 14, um, 12, 13, 1400 hours. So at 13.45, the price needs to be lower than this red line. 13.45, when 13.45 closes down here, that would have been a winning trade for a sell. Very simple. My expires can kind of throw you off, but I understand it. So it's pretty simple. Um, let me show you something on UCHF. Show you a few examples, and I'm going to cut the video. Three, three in the box. Here's a three in the box. I'm going to go to my 15 minute and wait till I get a green candle that goes higher than the previous candle. So over here, it's 17:45. I'm going to go ahead and extend it to 1800, and I'm going to um, take the trade for um 20 hundred hours so i'm going to take my trade somewhere in this candle here because it's closing higher than the previous candles close so um 18 19, so uh, 1945 price needs to be higher than this red line here okay 1945 closed right there for a buy and we would have won that trade for a buy as well very simple very simple um, i'm going to show you one more example um on UCHF like I said these two pairs move in the opposite direction of one another it's very very neat um, I'll show you a cell okay here's a cell example get three in the box we're gonna go to our 15 minute and then we're gonna wait until we get a um, red candle to close lower than the previous candles close. So we'll take our trade somewhere in this candle before it closes because it's obviously closing lower than the, than this close over here. Um, this is at 3 o'clock. 
So, um, well, we're going to extend it because it's at 45, so I'll go extend it to 4 o'clock to expire at 6. Okay? So, at 5.45, price needs to be lower than that red line. 5.45 is here. And it closed here. Okay? And that would have been a winning trade for a sale. Very simple. If it repaints, I don't worry... I don't worry about the indicator repainting because the 15 minute time frame will always let me know when to take that trade, okay? Very simple. Don't be afraid of the repaint. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much how I trade binary options. I have several different strategies, um, but I'm really loving this strategy right here. So let me know what you think. Um, like I said, if you want to join the Signal group, just comment below. I'll leave the link in the description of the video so you can go ahead and join. Alright, I'm out.